This is going to be a quick overview of the Redlink Android app. Go ahead and connect your Redlink. Once it's on, go to Menu, Setup, Settings, Communication, Wi-Fi, and then select Enable Wi-Fi. From here, you can create an ad hoc network or connect to an already established Wi-Fi network. After connecting the app to the camera, you'll start to notice that all the camera settings have now appeared within the app. You can quickly adjust and monitor all the settings. This includes ability to change the sensor frames per second to exposure, and you can even adjust the fan mode. Next, let's tap on the color tab at the top of the screen and adjust the color settings. As you can see, I can easily change any of the metadata color parameters. It's as easy as sliding the color temp bar to the right or to the left. Or you can also tap on the value field and select from the pull down options. I can do this for any of the color settings and if I need to select a specific amount, I can go into the value field and select advanced, which will let me type in whatever value I need. Let's move on to the panels tab, which will allow you to create shortcuts for your color settings. In panels, you can create up to four different color setting shortcuts. Tap the gray square at the top to add more panels. To change the color setting in a panel, tap the name in one of the panels and select the setting you want to replace it with. If the arrows are pointing left and right, then slide your finger left and right in the panel to decrease and increase the values. You can also tap on the arrows in each panel to change the direction you'll need to swipe to change the values. Let's move on to the Curves tab. This is where you can adjust the Luma and RGB curves. You can tap on any point of the curve and move it, or you can tap and move the sliders on the right side of the screen. Next is the LGG tab at the top, which is your lift, gamma, and gain. You can use your finger to select any of the color wheels. To fine tune the values, use the sliders or tap the value field and enter the specific value you want. If I create a look I want to save, I can just add it to my look preset. To do this, I just need to tap the plus sign in the Look Presets panel on the left. Now I just need to enter a name for the preset. You will now see the preset down below, which will have all the values that are currently set in the Color, Curves, and LGG tabs. Anytime you adjust the Color and Curve settings, you can always reapply the Save Look preset with just a tap. Change the Look setting in one of the tabs and then tap a preset to apply it. To delete a preset, simply tap the trash can icon and select the preset you want to delete. With the newest version of the Redlink app, you can tap on Menu and access all the camera settings, allowing for complete remote control of your camera. Now that we've fine-tuned our look and record settings, we'll go back to the Camera Control tab. When you're ready to record, just go ahead and tap that Record button. Now while you're recording, Tap Mark Frame to flag any keyframes you specifically want to review later. After recording your clips, tap Playback in the top right corner to toggle to Playback mode. You can queue up and play clips, which can be seen on your display monitor. If you need to go back to Record mode, you can easily toggle back by tapping Record in the top right corner. For more information and other videos, please visit red.com.